Lava, what is neo-colonialism? Okay. Ah, difficult ones. <laughs> okay. Um, neo-colonialism. Neo is neo. Okay, we've seen that before. New stuff. Neo neoliberalism. Neo whatever. It means neo. Colonialism is when one country invades another country and does the following thing. It creates a government that allows it locally in the country that it has invaded, that allows it to continue extracting as much as possible from the invaded country in terms of resources, in terms of productive labor, you know, as much as possible. So, Colonialism is you invade a country and you put in power a administration of that region, of that country, that allows you to take as much as possible from the place you have invaded. Now, neocolonialism is when you do so in a way that allows you... Neocolonialism refers to the fact that a lot of these countries, predominantly Western European countries, that used to own and had used to like had colonized and invaded places like Africa. Um, in the 1960s, you had a lot of independence declarations, a lot of these countries became independent. But what continued was that even after the independence, that the countries that had invaded, the Western European countries, remained economically, politically, culturally, and sometimes even militarily dominant in the countries that they were no longer colonizing, right? So what had happened, Congo, for example, what had happened is Patricia Lumumba, the very first democratically elected president of Congo, was murdered under the authority of the Belgians, and they used that, they used a general, local general, Mobutu, they used him to kill Lumumba, and they made a deal with Mobutu. They told Mobutu, you can stay in power as long as you allow us to continue making as much money and as much, you know, just sort of exploiting the Congo as we used to before, right? So, independent, but not so independent. And that's what we say when we, when we say neocolonialism. We're trying to say that it may seem as if colonialism has stopped, but it hasn't actually. That cultural, economic, military, and economic dominance by Western European countries in their former colonies has been rebranded, has been reshuffled, that it looks like these countries are independent, but in fact, they're still in a colonial relationship with their former owners. That's what we mean with neo-colonialism. Hey, I love these Olave Explains. Hashtag Olave Explains. But <laughs> I need your help. I need to know what it is you would like me to explain to you. So please get on our Instagram, Olave Talks, our Facebook page, Olave Talks, and our Twitter, Olave Talks, or in the comments below, and let us know what you would like us to explain to you. What would you like us? To explain, we have we obviously do not claim or guarantee that we will get it right though. We don't know. <laughs>